Good evening, friends. Stephen Bernoulli with Israeli News Live. Wanted to quickly just kind of bring you guys up to speed on something here that's going on. Uh, this a story that we started well even long before October. I think if you go all the way back to April of last year, I was talking about Taiwan, and of course Taiwan's uh, China's desire to take Taiwan down. Uh, bringing that back underneath the Chinese um, umbrella, so to speak. By October uh, of 2021, uh, we were already discussing with you there, Admiral Aquilino, who uh, said that Taiwan will not be another Afghanistan. And uh, so therefore, they were already beginning to move assets out of Taiwan. This has been an ongoing uh, move because at that time, I was being told that uh, China would take Taiwan by Christmas. Now, that when when Christmas came, or Christmas, between Christmas and New Year's, that time came, nothing actually took place uh, at that time. I got an update in January on the situation. Uh, then I was told that because of the situation with Iran and their threatening to attack Israel, China had to kind of put Taiwan on the back burner. Uh, and at that point, uh, later, another meeting we discovered that uh, of course, Taiwan was still on the burner for, for China, but it would be uh, late summer going into uh, the fall of this year before uh, China would be able to actually pull that off. Now, back when I first began to bring this up, there was no mention whatsoever in mainstream media about uh, China taking Taiwan in the first place, uh, not of anything of any significance. But <clears throat> now... Uh, it is really becoming mainstream media and uh, Fox News. Uh, this was something that they reported because, again, Biden is just saying things like we're going to go to war with China if we have to. We'll have to go to war with Russia if we have to. Biden is just saying a lot of crazy things. And, of course, his own administration is having to constantly uh, deal with the blunders that he's doing. I'd like for you to just listen to this clip here because it also gives credibility to the issue about Taiwan. But, of course, the president is going to say that uh, if we have to go to war with China, we'll go to war with China. Boy, this is dangerous when you got a president that's got dementia uh, <laughs> speaking out publicly. Listen into what Fox News has to say about this. To the United States again, this time he committed to a possible war with China. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are. That's the commitment we made. Mm. If you've ever had anybody with dementia in your family, like my dad's got dementia, that's the way they talk. Uh, of course, that face is very priceless, isn't it? Uh, yeah, he's very committed. That's the commitment we've made. Wow, my goodness, Commander in Chief. You know, these type of statements can cause wars. Let's listen to what they have to say here, though, on uh, Fox News. Well, then the walk back, and it came snappy fast, with the White House insisting there's been no change in the U.S. policy toward Taiwan. We've seen this kind of thing before, after the president made those comments about Vladimir Putin, for instance. Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. For God's sake, this man cannot remain in power. Let's go straight to Kaylee. Yeah, Harris, it's always an unnamed anonymous White House official that cleans up the blunder. It's Look, these gaffes are alarming. They're weird to watch. Um, they're disconcerting when it's the president. But when it's in the context of foreign policy, Harris, it takes on an entirely different set of alarm, thinking that you could set off an enemy, a foe, a world power. And in this case, with this Taiwan remark, who is it that cleaned it up? the White House official who declined to be unnamed. In the case of suggesting regime change in Russia, who is it that cleaned it up? The official line was within minutes, a White House official was telling reporters it was not the case. And Harris, it's not just these two. When he was in Warsaw, remember what he said about chemical weapons? If Putin uses chemical weapons, he said, quote, it will trigger a response in kind, somehow yeah. suggesting the United <laughs> States would use chemical yeah, weapons. Yeah, that we would go to use chemical Trump's weapons. This is the danger when your commander in chief is uh, dealing with, uh, with 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 problems in his head where he can't even get his words right. I mean, you can you could end up in, a, in in World War Three from such. I I have to just say it like it is demented statements. 
Let's, let's call it what it is. The president is definitely, no doubt, obviously, and of course I'm not a doctor, but obviously appears to be suffering with some sort of form of uh, you know dementia that is causing him to make such wild and reckless statements, which endangers the nation. But then again, what could be worse? Well, if you know the vice president declares the 25th Amendment and has him thrown out and she puts herself in, Boy, we'd really have a mess. What a quagmire. Everything's getting more and more crazy uh, with, without any, any, any doubt. Um, anyway, <clears throat> gosh. All right, so I wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed on that there. Look, I didn't actually do this to start with, but let me just real quick, let's take a, a quick look at Ukraine. I, I know the situation in Ukraine is not getting any better. Uh, as I mentioned to you, I believe in a broadcast the other day, uh, Polish troops have been entered into the theater uh, there inside of Ukraine. I don't know which way that's going to go. That is only opening up the doors for a possi possibility of a very serious uh, war that could uh, involve NATO. And maybe that's the plan. I I'm not really sure. As I, I mentioned before that the NATO generals are wanting to do something to step up the ante here. Uh, but yet at the same time, they know how serious that would be. It's not a good situation at all, friends. Not at all. So, um, so I just want to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on these things here. We will be uh, doing a little bit more research, trying to find out what's going on uh, with Ukraine. I, I did get some updates on that. And of course, the updates that I was getting is that um, Russia is certainly making the headway in this battle there. Uh, and of course, we're, we're seeing all kinds of things going on in the news right now, too. Uh, as far as food shortages, and I have been told that the food shortages will lead to a civil unrest or a civil war in this nation. That's something that we can anticipate to come. Uh, so I'm still trying to wade through a lot of intel that I've been uh, speaking here recently on, and I have been getting more and more intel uh, that is just this. Listen, I, I have to tell you, friends, I, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to go about it the right way. But I need to share information with you. I want to take this biblically. If you can just see on my computer screen, Deuteronomy, the book of Numbers, the book of Job, Habakkuk. <clears throat> we are about to face catastrophic events on this planet uh, as a result of the war between, uh, I'd just call it heaven and hell. And we are going to be caught right in the middle. So if there's ever a time to truly have that, the, the most sincere, committed relationship with Jesus Christ than ever, it's now. It is now. Uh, not to mention the wars and stuff. And, and I'm going to tell you something. These wars that are going on, these wars are instigated by fallen angels. Why? To have, cause us to fight against angels us ourselves because they want this planet for themselves um you know some of the things that i'm finding out are just mind-boggling mind-boggling and, and, and not only mind-boggling i'm talking about government people that know that these extraterrestrials are fallen angels that's another thing i have heard that statement made by government people more than I have ever heard in my life that they are fallen angels, that we are dealing with the return of these fallen angels, and that the battles that are going to be fought here are going to be unbelievable. Um, and and so the, the, a lot of things I'll be sharing over on Patreon, but, uh, but, but when it comes to the seriousness of these things here, what we're going to face, what we need to do, how we need to have our lives prayed up, ready to go, and uh, what to expect will be shared right here with you here on Israeli News Live. Uh, and if it's anything I can share directly on our YouTube channel, it'll be directly on the YouTube. Uh, but be, but don't forget, let me just quickly share with you on here, um, brand new tube. Most of you guys, I think, know about our brand new tube account. Uh, we've been on there now for a couple of years. Uh, and hopefully it'll pull up here so you can see that in just a moment. But it's brand new tube, Israeli News Live. Here we are right there. Let me see if I can just pull up, yep, Israeli News Live, uh, or brandnewtube.com forward slash at Israeli News Live. That is our channel right there. 
Um, and there's about 15,000 people there. We can pretty much load what we want here as well. Uh, so we do. Uh, we uh, Just like with iConnect, there's very little censorship, but there's not as many people that view over here as they do on iConnect. So I just wanted to make sure you're aware of that because those of you that are having trouble viewing things on iConnect, I am putting it over on brand new tube. Uh, I am going to once again go back to the owners of iConnect because there are still people still having issues. See if I can't find out a resolution for you because the censorship is going to be stepped up majorly now. Uh, so where we can truly share things is not easy. So uh, anyway, just to get you guys updated on that, uh, we really appreciate you tremendously. I have, by the way, a brand new set of tools at my disposal too. Uh, so kind of looking forward to being able to dig deeper into biblical text and Dead Sea Scrolls and things like that so I can share some fascinating things with you guys. Uh, and also, oh yeah, yeah, get caught up with these Patreon videos that I'm wanting to share with you. So patreon.com uh, for, or for, I think it was Israeli, uh, forward slash Israeli. I'll put the links in the description for you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.